The advanced vehicle template is provided to give you a more robust vehicle in case you need one for your game. We get gamepad and keyboard input. It is VR ready. We have basic animations, but most of these animations are actually driven by physics now. We do have physics-based movement. We have our vehicle engine fine-tuning, but in addition to that, we now have an advanced suspension handling. Let's go and run through our template, and you'll watch and see the differences. It's going to handle basically the same, but when we get to the parts like this, where we have multiple angles and directions, if you look at each of the individual parts, such as the shocks and the absorbers, you'll notice they all handle independently and different. The left side could go up, the right side can go down, they can push and pull as needed realistically. You'll notice it happens when we're going over our bumps here, you notice our tires handling independently, you'll also notice that the wheels themselves will turn independently based on if we have a front wheel drive or not. And of course our vehicle will flip over if we do something silly like that. Now the majority of the difference between this is how the physics was set up. If we were to go through the blueprint itself, we're not going to see much of a difference. It's going to be the same basics. It's going to be set up the same as our normal vehicle. The main difference are going to be in the skeletal mesh itself. Our skeletal mesh itself, rather than just consisting of the location for the wheels, now consists of the locations for all the important parts. You, think such, you see things such as your upper and lower arm bars, your drive shafts, your shocks, your mounts, even your antenna has 12 different points here. So each part can bend independently as we are driving. Now to drive that, we have our vehicle physics asset. Rather than just defining the rough body shape, maybe the body, the front end, and the rear end, we get to define more parts. As you can see here, we have 17 different bodies. We have different parts for our antenna, different parts covering our wheels, the front end, the body, the bars, and etc. In addition to that, rather than having fixed animations, such as our wheels turning or rotating, things are driven more by the physics in the animation blueprint. We have our animation blueprint, and it starts and it actually goes through each and every point as we are driving and determines where things should be done. Should they be positioned to face another bone? Should they be rotated appropriately, etc., etc. So we now have a much more advanced vehicle that will respond and look more realistically than our just basic box on wheels in our vehicle template. So that is what our advanced vehicle template can bring to us.